Uh, finally, the last speaker uh, is from the airport here, Liam Scullin, the chairperson, who will uh, just sum up from an airport's perspective. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or good afternoon. Tisha, go here, look. Distinguished guests, CEO of Ryanair, and etc., etc. Distinguished guests as well. We had a problem a few months ago here um, at the airport. Uh, we had a new Taoiseach from the region. We knew we'd have to make lots of trips to see Angela Merkel, Sarkozy, and at that time Berlusconi. And so we called Michael O'Leary, Michael Cawley, and that was the reason we put on and that Reiner put on these three flights. And you would be very critical of uh, And we do four. And we have to take a, a little break to Spain in the middle of it, so that's why we put on Barcelona as well. <clears throat> of course, now that uh, Italy hasn't the leader that it did have, uh, I think still, we'll still go to Italy because we'll have the odd bunga bunga party, or else uh, invite them here. But I am truly, there's been lots of announcements at this airport since uh, the last nine, ten years, and lots of announcements with Ryanair. But this is the most important one, it's the one I'm the happiest with. I'm really happy this morning, happier than ever I've been at this airport, because the significance of this is enormous. What Ryanair have done, announcing these flights this morning, is a game changer for this region. It's potentially a game changer, and I don't say that lightly. Why is it a game changer? Because we're now in markets in Europe, between the UK, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, etc. About 330 million people. About 7,000 billion in GDP, although that might be going down. But 330 million people. The potential for bringing tourists in here to this region out of that, particularly, and it has been mentioned, tourists that actually like rural areas, like staying in bed and breakfast, as well as hotels, guest houses, like rural areas, and already said they like the West, and come back when they're already here. So it is a potential game changer. And I want to thank Ryanair hugely for, for doing this, and being brave enough to step out and push on these routes, which are not easy to make successful. And I want to pay particular credit to Michael Leary, and indeed Michael Cawley, over to the other side, um, who is done huge work over the years and has been behind a lot of the routes that we're doing at Knock so far. And Michael, I want to thank you personally as well. Uh, I've left his room battered and bruised on many occasions as well, but at the end of it, we've been moving forward. I want to thank Joe and the staff here. Uh, I want you to give them a round of applause, perhaps. <laughs> at the end of the day, this airport's role is to actually fly, uh, get people out of here safe and secure uh, and, and also to build new routes and the staff here are doing an, an, an amazing job. Um, Michael Leary mentioned there about the kind of lean machine that is here and it is a lean machine but it's a lean machine with a friendly face and that's what makes a huge difference here at NOC. Um, I'd also particularly like to thank uh, Tourism Ireland, the CEO Nye Gibbons who is here today, Minister Ring is the Minister for Tourism, who actually are a big part of making this thing happen today. Uh, without them, it may not have got over the final line. And it was a, a partnership between us all that got this over the line, and hopefully a sign of the future as well. But today, you know, is about celebration, but it's also about challenge. And I'm delighted to see that the Western Development Commission here, in the form of Helen Watcher Brennan, and indeed the CEO, Ian Brannigan, who is here today, are taking up some of that challenge. Because the big challenge facing this region is that with four months to go out into this, uh, the, the first services coming in, we need to have a clear message. We need to have the private sector, the public sector, the leader companies, everyone working together. It's a time of scarce resources. There isn't a lot of money either from government or anywhere else to be pushing around. And every resource and every person needs to get around these routes and make them successful. Because if they are, we can double, treble, quadruple the number of tourists coming in here. Next year, we'll be doing 725,000 passengers into this airport. That's a 10% increase on last year, which was a 10% increase on the year before. We can keep going, but at this stage, we need, desperately, the business community of this region, every single one of you, 
to get behind this very strongly, together with the local authorities and other people. And I'm delighted to see the Western Development Commission are, are getting in there and helping to bring that coordination together. And please, please give them your every support and, 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 and definitely get behind them. We need probably something like a one and a half million focused fund. Um, that's that's Berlusconi calling me to a bunga party. Uh, I don't know where this uh, phone is. Um, I don't know whether it's Angela Merkel or any of these people. Uh, so look, that's all I have to say. I want to thank everybody that, for coming here this morning. Uh, I want to thank the TDs here also, Michelle Mulhern, John O'Mahony, and all the other TDs and centres that have actually come here this morning who have played a, a very strong role here as well. Um.